Thank you. All right, I need a category. Coming at you. Variety shows are the spice of life. How does $2,000 sound? Forward March. Given what took place during the third season of the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, what song would have been the best choice for the show's finale during that season? She's having my baby. By the last season of the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, Sonny and Cher went through a D-I-V-O-R-C-E. <laughs> which was the reason it was C-A-N-C-E-L-L-E-D. Give me a category. Let's see what we got going. When a soap opera goes down. Heads up, this one's gonna be 6,000 bucks. Okay, imagine your life is a soap opera and you need direction. Shouldn't be too hard. Now, imagine you get these directions. Take 95 South, go past Philadelphia, look for signs for Landview. When you hit Landview, head underground. That's the lost city of Eterna. On which show might you get these directions? All my children loving one life to live or the edge of night. See ya. Here's the one the winners pick. One Life to Live is the soap opera with the storyline involving Eterna, the lost city beneath the town of Landview in the Philadelphia suburbs. Gee, a crazy, unbelievable plot twist on a soap opera. Now that's something you don't see every day. All right, pick a category. You know what, you're playing great. I'll, I'll stop bugging you now. Uh, you know what, actually, just one more question. Question 18. Open wide and get ready for Sleepless in the Saddle. 4K coming your way for a right answer. Okay, let's see what kind of losers we got in the personal ads today. When you know it, you buzz in and start typing, all right? Oh, here's a good one. Single brown Pelomino in search of someone to roll in the hay with. I'm hung like a horse and love to talk, but only to that special someone. Hop in the saddle and call me. Who placed this ad? Make me proud, type. Mr. Ed is a talking horse, and a very attractive one at that. <laughs> and it's not often that you get to put peanut butter inside your date's lips. Now, carrots, on the other hand. Time to pick a category. I believe this one is called Hamner. I hardly knew her. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Okay, you know how big time studio execs are always trying to take one hit concept and combine it with another, right? Well, suppose Earl Hamner Jr. is asked to produce a made for TV movie based on his real life and the primetime soap opera he created. Which storyline would you most expect to see? Grizzly Adams roams Dallas, John Boy runs the Falcon Crest Winery, Jed Clampett strikes oil in Knott's Landing, or the Ingalls clan starts a dynasty. Why, Ben, what are you doing here? You were killed by a hunter last season. It was all a dream. What a bunch of crap. Uh, does this ring a bell? <laughs> the Waltons was based on Earl Hamner Jr.'s real childhood, and then later on, he created the primetime soap opera Falcon Crest. Good night, John boy. Good night, you conniving bastard. Throw me a category. Question 20 now concludes its broadcast day. Well, what do we have here? Six million dollars plus foreign grosses. How does four thousand dollars grab you? See what you can do with this one. Say the actress playing Steve Austin and Jamie Summers' bionic friend in The Bionic Showdown were bionic in an action flick in which she starred. What might we see? Jordan doing 600 push-ups in G.I. Jane. Ripley punching out an alien in Alien. Lorna stopping bullets in Lethal Weapon 3. Or Annie outrunning the bus in Speed. Yeah, Lorna might be able to stop bullets, but let's see her try to stop you from losing your cash. Let me show you what I would have picked.
The woman who played Kate, the bionic cohort of Steve Austin and Jamie Summers in the bionic showdown, was Sandra Bullock, who played Annie in Speed and uh, <clears throat> Speed 2. So when Dennis Hopper puts the bomb on Sandra Bullock, does that mean she'd have to keep running faster than 55 miles per hour? Hey, look, a quarter! Category, please. All right then, let's fast forward and get right to the good part. Here comes your clue. I'm thinking of a number. I'm also thinking of what's about to happen to your score. Good luck! to agree with me. Oh, and while I'm pouring salt in the wound, 